Hey everyone, welcome back to another evening of the Orlando RV Super Show. We're having a great time at the first ever Super Show and today we are taking a look at the fifth wheels that we have. We don't have very many brands, but we have a lot of good brands. And behind me has been one of the most popular fifth wheel toy haulers. We're taking a look, we're getting started with the Brinkley Model G 3950. Let me tell you something. Well, look at this floor plan here. Okay. This is absolutely fantastic. Sure is. Now we can't share with you guys the show pricing that we have on this unit because the Brinkley police come after us. Right. But let me tell you, so don't go this way, Will. Go up front first. Okay. Let me, uh, here I got this right here. What do you got going on, Will? Up front, <clears throat> you got plenty of closets placed with washer dryer prep, nice king size bed. I really like the backsplash. All the colors in here, you guys know it's Brinkley. Yep. You know they do the colors and everything, right? Plenty of storage. Let's take a quick look at that bathroom there. <clears throat> yep. And Great then, well, bathroom. This was the highlight of the Florida RV Super Show. And so I'm really excited that we have this unit here at the final show of the season. Right. Which is this Orlando show. Look at this awesome U shaped dinette. Yep. Get a good pan. Get a good look. I don't think our camera does this section justice. I'm not going to lie. I am not a fan of toy haulers, and what I mean when I say that, I am not the target audience for right. a toy hauler. But this toy hauler does it right with this awesome U-shaped They do, bag. yep. I feel like I'm not in a toy hauler. I feel like I'm in a luxury fifth wheel with a garage. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Not only that. This is so cool. Brinkley does a phenomenal job with their desk dinette conversion area. Look at that. One, yep. two, three, four. That's the different positions. How do you feel, Sir William, in this kitchen? This kitchen's actually pretty good. Again, toy haulers are always tight. So ideally, like, you know, it would flow, but it's hard in a toy hauler. But I love how they have the kitchen uh, the kitchen island and tons of countertop space. And I always love with Brinkley. Yes. It's the little details like these cabinets and all that. For silverware, knives, all that good stuff. And Will, we have no lights on in here. Right. And it's still so light and bright and refreshing. Right over here, we have an awesome garage, half bath right there, patio deck. This is fantastic. And this is just one of many units that we have here yep. at the Orlando RV Super Show. If you guys are watching and you see something you like, click the link down below. Reach out to a member of our team or there's still time. Today's Friday, so you're watching on Saturday. So there's still one more day left. Yes. Being Sunday or no. Yep. Today's Friday, this Saturday. So it'll go yeah, up Saturday. Sunday. Yep. Tomorrow, we got one more day tomorrow, so make sure you join us. Or again, click and call. Let us know down below. Of course. Okay, we got these steps right here. Now, I really wish we could share show pricing with you. Because as great of a deal as it is, this is the upper echelon when it comes to right. dollars. It is the best of the best. And this unit isn't even close to it. Price-wise, yeah. Well, quality-wise. Oh, yeah, yeah. But again, but to Will's point, price-wise, this is almost half I of know. this price. So again, it's not about which one better. Brinkley's better Are you this. getting double the you know, enjoyment out of that, though, for double the price? Less than double. Yeah. Less than double. Right. This is about 45% of that. Yeah. So this is less than half of what that is. Correct. Yeah. And again, this is not a Brinkley. But you still get to sit, you still get to watch TV, you still get to cook, you still get your toy hauler, you still get your patio. This is what I love, Will. It's not about which one's better. That one's better. Period. If anybody tells you a Keystone Impact's better, smack them like Will Smith at the Oscars. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was good, actually. You're right. Now, with that said, dollar for dollar is it better that is debatable. Yes. What is better? That unit at that price or this unit plus another $80,000 in your pocket? Right. Comment down below. Okay. Right here. Nice patio. The bed drops down. This unit also is a bath and a half. Gets the job done. Washer and dryer. Sure. Well, I just got fired up. Did you? These shelves are tough on us, folks. I know. Right there, we got a little bit of uh, action right there. North, okay. south, bed. These shelves are tough. It's hot. It's humid. It's it's exhausting seeing everybody saying hi. It's great to meet everybody. But we film these at the end of the day, and it gets a little overwhelming. 
But uh, when I said that funny analogy, yeah, smacking like Will Smith. <laughs> Come on, Will. Okay. Let's take a look at some more. Some more. Some more. Oh, 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 watch yourself. I know. What we're going to do, we're not going to take a look at every Model G. We're going to take a look at one of everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, I'll show this floor plan really quick, though. Yeah. This is 3,500. A little bit smaller. All right. It looks like we got every floor plan here, which is crazy. That is crazy. Dang. Which one do you want to see? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Oh, yeah. What have we Are not you in this shown? this one? No, I'm just grabbing my back real quick. Ah, oh, there you go. Hey, aren't you the number one Brinkley salesman in the world? Yeah. That's Blake. <laughs> That's right. That's right, we Will. Don't, what, what do they call them? Not Brinkley, but Blakely? <laughs> Blakely. 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 Yeah. yeah. He sells so many. <laughs> so if you guys are in the market and you've been to a show, you've definitely seen Blake. You're the man. You're the man. Thanks, man. 2900 Hang on, Will. Uh-oh. I'll show the floor yeah, plan. you're good, you're good. Okay. I covered it. I covered it. I'll go upstairs first. Don't call me, team. I covered the price. Okay. North-south bed in here. Closet space on a slide. And what's cool with this one is the uh, sink and everything is on a slide as well. Uh-oh. Power's going out. Yeah, it's okay. Well, let me tell you something. General RV has motorhome salespeople and towable salespeople. Yeah. Um, it's always the best salespeople are the motorhome salespeople, right? And mm -hmm. then it trickles down to the towables, obviously. Uh, the number one salesperson in the company is that guy. Is he? Because of because of because of they, Brinkley. They he he locked on the Brinkley. He liked the product and he learned just, about it and all he, that. Yeah. He learned about it, educated himself, and let me tell you something. He is like I'm not even kidding you. Number one in the world. Really? Yep. Yeah. He just likes the product. There you go. You know, that's that's how we feel with Alliance. You know, yeah. We, like, we don't sell, but if we did sell, I could promise you, you, me, RV, Egan, you know, mm -hmm. when you're passionate about a product, you sell a lot of it. You do? Love this kitchen iron. And let me tell you something. If we were in sales, Will, I think we'd be passionate about Brinkley. Yeah. Because this, how can you not be passionate? It's beautiful. It is. It's awesome. Love the cabinetry. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Brinkley, they, they came into this industry and they said, let's change it up and let's just build it better. It's going to be more, 100,000%. Yep. But let's just build it better. And they did. And it's easy to see that the market loves it. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So it's exciting to see all the other brands and manufacturers come out with something a little more higher quality, even though, because the RV manufacturers are always been like, price, price, price. Mm -hmm. How do we get it cheaper? How do we get it cheaper? Cougars this much, we're this much, blah, blah, blah. And Brinkley's like, we don't care how much they are. Let's just right. build it to our best. And that's why Brinkley's getting this reputation, which is a phenomenal one. It is. And we're glad to be selling them. Those are no more fifth wheels, just Brinkley's. Okay. And let's, uh, was there fifth wheels over here? I think so. I don't remember seeing any over here. No, this is a travel trailer. Oh, uh, okay. We'll check so, that out tomorrow. I, oh, no, no. All the way down to the end. So while we walk down to the end, let's give a big shout out to today's sponsor. <laughs> guys, this episode is sponsored by RVMattress.com. Now, you guys know we love Brooklyn bedding in RVMattress.com. And this month, in the month of March, we have something extremely exciting going on. 30% off your purchase with what's called a dynamic code. So if you're interested in a new mattress for your RV, click the link down below and type in your phone number to that link. Brooklyn Betting will then send you a text message that gives you a one-time use code that is 30% off. You guys know you can always get 25% off when you go to rvmattress.com backslash mat. But if you're in the market for a mattress, make sure you join us this March to get the best deal of the entire year. Just like that, we're back. Well, we're taking a look at this awesome Alpine. Okay. It's a 3303CK. I don't think we've reviewed one of these yet. I don't think so. The lights are on, 2024. Bang, a show price of $79,999. For an Alpine, that's crazy. Well, this is just your traditional rear living. Yeah. So we've definitely done this. Maybe they changed the model numbers or something. Oh, no, no, it's different. It, it okay. is different, yeah. 
theater seats right here, sofa here. The rear the living is, is the same. It's the kitchen. Show us, Will. What's different? I'm like kind of trying to wrap my head around it. It's the uh, stove top. It is the stove top. So it's funny. The very first RV that Jen and I ever looked at was a Heritage Glen with the stove top here. Do you remember that? Nope. Um, it was at Leo's before we even worked there. I really like that design, though. It just feels more open here. Yeah. When you do it, downside is, yeah, there's no pantry. Ah, uh, so but I guess downside. you got pantry there. Yeah, I mean, you end up using, you know, some cabinet space for pantry. But, but you get that so, nice hood range right there. You do. Tons of countertop space and this huge island. Uh, four burner insignia cooktop. And yeah, like you said, nice hood range here. A range hood. Hood range. There you go. Nice. Coming on back here. We do have an awesome, oh, awesome bathroom. Double sink. Good size shower. You know that's a prime hoop position because it's on an angle. Yep. Make sure you guys pick up your liquefied. And then storage there and there. Exciting news, guys. If if you're a fan of Happy Camper, we now have liquefied powder out. Yes. Bing! Click the link down below uh, and pick some up on uh, Amazon now. Yep. The new liquefied powder. There you go. I was going to call it Happy Powder, but my lawyer advised me against it. I think <laughs> Jen did. Oh, Jen did? Well, because... Yeah, the powder is not what ha not what's happy. The camper is happy, so it's a happy camper. Oh, all so right. Didn't make sense to be happy powder. Right. It's like what type of happy powder are you talking about? Right. Wow. Well, I love the Arcadias. Dude, we love the Brinkleys. We love the we love the grand designs. We love the alliances. But how can we always? Never mentioned this. Right. This is stunning. Sixty-two nine nine. Right for that price too. Yeah. Show everybody. We'll show it. Okay. I love the rear um, countertop space here with still a kitchen island. The furniture in here looks awesome. Looking directly across from your TV entertainment center. It's kind of a cool rear kitchen concept. And then upstairs. You have a very nice bathroom. This really is one of nice king size bed, washer, dryer, prep in the closet, tons of counter or uh, clothes storage. Sorry about that, America. It's all good. I'm uh, texting Tom Bennett. So the Matt's RV reviews team loves General RV, and um, we're taking we're taking what ten people out for dinner yeah. tonight. Yeah. To my favorite restaurant, Saltgrass. It's a Texas-based company, but there's one in Orlando. There's and, two in uh, Orlando, I right, think. Right, well, we only go to, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But um, it's our way of showing a little appreciation. And you know what? Will and I, we, we, we started doing that once every show. To right. take a group of our colleagues out, you know. Yeah. It's like we can't do it without them. Right. And we can't do it without you guys, you know. So, awesome unit. Let's take a look at this beautiful Alpine. Okay. You know, it's just like... We get so many phone calls and so many leads, right? Mm-hmm. And we want our we want our call like every somebody at General's always gonna take amazing care of you. But we wanna like boost up morale. So like when somebody says they watch Matt's RV reviews, we want our colleagues to take even better. Right, care. right. You know what I'm saying? You wanna do another Alpine or the Alpine Avalanche? This one. Okay. This is a video, it's the 3910RK. Yep. Will and I just reviewed one of these. Is it locked? Oh. Will and I just reviewed one of these, and our review is going to have a lot higher price than this. This one's down to $93,999. Dang. Look at this awesome rear kitchen. What makes this different from Will's, the fridge is right here. Well, the fridge is there on yours, but the pantry is right there. You get a door. Yeah, That's exactly. Will doesn't have that second door. Love the solid surface. I love the flush floors. It's big, tall ceilings. Oh, you know. Oh no, this does have a huge front bathroom. Yeah. So, show everybody why. Why, why does Will Knowles own a rear kitchen fifth wheel? And let me tell you, it's not because of this bedroom. Bedroom's nice. The bedroom's nice, but it's this huge kitchen, uh, bathroom here. Talk to me, Will. Huge encore shower. Good toilet placement. Tons of sink space. Dual sinks. Uh, closet space. It's an awesome bathroom. You can actually get dressed in here. Yep. Dry, you know. Remember? Oh my God! I kept saying naked in the video. Yeah. 
I remember. But like, you know, a lot of fifth wheels, like you get out of the shower and then the toilet's here and the sink's here. So, so. funny. Guys, when you see the video of the Alpine come out, make sure you guys watch it. When I'm in the bathroom, I just, I feel silly. Like, I'm all like, yeah, you can get naked and right. get naked and naked and I couldn't stop saying it. But it's true, you can get naked in here. You can get yeah. It's a bathroom, you can actually get out the shower, be naked, and get dressed. Yeah. So many times in an RV, you take a shower, you're naked, you gotta put that little towel around, walk to the bedroom and close the door. Yeah. It's a bathroom you can actually get done. Exactly, yep. Naked. <laughs> Man. Tell you what, I'm glad we're going to take a shower first, to be honest. Right. I feel nasty. Man, look at this. A 2024 390 DS at 77999. Okay. I love that. Was oh, this the front bunk? I think so. Yes. Yes. This. 69999. Dang, that's awesome, actually. That's what the British guy should have bought. Yeah, but it doesn't have two king beds. Oh, okay. Or look two, at this not, five you know. Cedar sofa. I love that. Yep. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Bro, if you're buying, if you have kids, you want to make sure you have the rear. Right. Forget those kids. Throw them up front in that bunk over the calf. This is what I want. I want an awesome unit. I want to do my laundry right here. I want to have an awesome shower. Beautiful sink and vanity and everything. Be nice, dude. I want to have a nice toilet position. And then show them where you throw the kids up there. Okay. 69.9. The interior in this is beautiful. Yeah, no problem. And again, uh, four bunks here. You even have a little desk. So if you're homeschooling or you need an office, half bath up here. I'm trying to keep this door open because it's gonna get dark. And then a nice little entertainment center here as well. Will, guess who texted me? Who? Oh. Chad and Tara from Change and Nice! Lanes. Pretty cool when a celebrity texted you. Yep. Guys, drop a comment down below. Who's your favorite RV YouTuber? Chad and Tara's definitely on the Mount Rushmore. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, a lot of people say, like, we're RV YouTubers, but we're really not. I mean, Will and Jen kind of are. Kind of. I'm not. We I'm, haven't posted in a while. I'm a reviewer that happens to be on YouTube. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. But, like, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of KYD, Change and Lanes. Yep. You know, I love what... Traveling Robert drop a comment down below. Who's your favorite RV youtuber? And here's what I will say Chad and Tara They love liquefied. Yes, so they do. I consider myself friends with Chad But not really so what I mean is if Like will would lie to you guys on my behalf Right like, like about liquefied you're saying it's like about, it's great about anything you'd back me up right you'd vouch for me even if it was wrong Right. Chad won't do that. Right. Chad didn't even want a free bottle. Right. Chad said, Matt, I like you. I'm going to buy a bottle myself. If I like it, you'll hear about it. And if you don't like it, you know, you, you'll just never know. Yeah. Right? And um, sure enough, about four months into liquefied, six months into liquefied, I see a shot in sales. And I'm like, what the heck's going on, Will? Right. And Chad gave it a shout out because he loved it. But he did like a six month trial before he promoted right. it. Shout out to Chad. Chad for the W. Right. Check out a Crusader. Yeah. Wrap it up with. Yeah, we'll go wrap it up with a Crusader. Okay. Should we do this one or that one? What's the other one? What is this one? Oh. It's a small 265. one. 265. Yeah, we haven't showed anything real All small, right. so. Crusaders are, only. yeah, Crusaders are beautiful on the inside, too. Yeah, yeah, show up front, Will. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, this is a new, I mean, it's a, dude, this is a travel trailer, bro. This yeah. It's a travel trailer. Small travel, oh. You okay? Yeah, I almost missed a step. Nice queen size bed up front. You have a uh, bedroom slide there for your wardrobe. AC's ducted in here and everything. Nice bathroom. Shower's actually really good for how small this bathroom is. Then coming down. What more do you want in the fifth wheel? Yep. 
Like, this is up for the fifth wheel that people who want a fifth wheel, but they don't want to, like, live in it. What more are you asking? Yeah, for? pretty much. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. 49.9. Wow. That's crazy. Awesome rear kitchen. Solid surface. I love the blue and the white. Residential top. Top. Residential fridge. <laughs> Theater seats right there. Table. So nice. Look at this pantry, Will. Wow. Dang. Dang. It's like a little nook or whatever. Okay, so you kind of have storage, little coffee nook here. And, and then right your here. pantry shelves right here on this side. And right here's a place you can charge your uh, electronics and stuff. Nice. Like, what were you looking for? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm looking for, Will? What? Some Come salt down grass? Here. Salt grass. Let me shut this. I think they closed them all up. Oh, yeah. We opened them all up, didn't we? Come on down here, Sir William. Okay. I want to show everybody, if you guys are making it to the final day of the Orlando show, you can find me and Will hanging out here at the Maps RV Reviews pen. Come on down, Will. Okay. Oh, there's Tom. What are you waiting for? You waiting for us? Okay. Tom, say something to America. Hi, America. <laughs> guys, come on down. Say yeah. hi to Tom. Tom's been working out. He's ready for a good steak dinner. We have a lot of amazing RVs up here. Great inventory, great prices. Come and see us. Tom, I'm talking about dinner. I'm not talk <laughs> we have a lot of great steaks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why aren't you wearing your American Coach hat no more? Uh, I don't know if I could do that while I'm selling these. Yeah, Newmars. he's trying to sell some new Mars wearing American Coaches. <laughs> Guys, come on down here. Say hi to Tommy. We're at the Master of Reviews tent. We're giving away free liquefied if you ask nicely. If you don't ask nicely, we're not going to give it to you. But if you ask nicely, we'll give you some. And if you guys buy an RV, you'll get a prime poop position bobblehead. There you guys, go. Guys, thank you so much for checking out the Orlando RV Show. And if you guys couldn't make the show and you see something that you like, Tommy can sell a fifth wheel. Give him a call. What, what's your number, Tommy? 561-348-4231. Give me a call. Happy to help in any way I can. Yeah, definitely. You know, I know it's not an American coach, but you're still here to help. <laughs> Always. Thanks, y'all.